Hello everyone and welcome to my leather worker decent thing guide I'm gonna show you the cheapest way to level up from 1 to 320 which is the cap right now So to start with we gonna do hard leather shepherd's belt and you can buy the mats cheap from the blacksmith vendor The hard leather and the brass ingots Alright so I did the hard leather shepherd belt until skill level 40 and the next thing we're gonna do is bridesmaid sandals. So purchase novelty gear here in Ulda. The shop is right across the Aetherite Palza, Plaza. So the th good thing about this is we get Fieldcraft Demi Materia 3 from these and Spruce Lumbers. So not only we're gonna level up decent, but we're also getting those items that we need. The Fieldcraft Demi Materia 3s can be used for a lot of stuff. One of the things is master recipe number twos, and uh, the other thing is a lot of the crafter, end game crafted crafter gear that needs those to craft. The recipes need field craft doing materia three, so we're killing like many birds with one stone at the same time as leveling decent. And uh, the recommended decent it sets seventy to start this, but. We don't, you don't need to reach 70, we can start this earlier. With help of HQ Tinker's Calm, which increases decent rate. And uh, Bacon's Broth. If you have it HQ, it's even better, but... Right now I don't have the recipes unlocked to craft my own, so I'm just going with NQ. So, yeah, you just... With the Bacon's Broth and... Tinker's Calm, you have 58% rate, which is really good to start with. So, and you get a lot of skill ups. And as you get skill ups, very soon. Oh, that's a Fieldcraft Demi Material 3 already. Nice. Yeah, and that you can see 65% already. So it goes up really fast as you succeed. So, we, I'm gonna be doing this until. At the very least skill level 90, maybe even higher. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna be doing. So I did the bridesmaid sandals until skill 96. And next we come here in Ishgard. From the armorer NPC, go to disciples of war gear level 50. Belt of striking. That's one of what we're gonna be decent thing next. Wow. Alright, I did those archer skin striking belts until skill 130. Now we come here to Mogholm from the Mughal vendor and go to field gear and decent weaven skill field belt. Okay, I did the weaven skin field belts until 151 now come to Azizla the rep repository node or whatever it's called and go to disciples of war gear and go to the belts serpent skin voyager's belt of maiming this is what we want now this one is very good, it can give adamantite nuggets Which in this server worth the same price as the belt itself I did the maiming, maiming belts until 165 skill For the next step you need to farm crafter red scripts Once you have farmed it, come here in Idleshire, the exchange Red crafter script exchange level 58 and you buy these Rowena token, blue crafter tokens and then come to this NPC next to it, the Splendors vendor and you pick Tradecraft gear or Fieldcraft gear, uh, doesn't make any difference as long as you get a leather worker piece so what you wanna do is get uh, any leather worker boots because they cost the least of blue tokens so you just decent these. And this one is really good because it gives you field craft threes. 
which you can use to craft Alamegan gear later. Don't forget Tinker's Calm. 80% to start with, it's gonna increase as you succeed. 1.10 increase that's really good and it's really fast it doesn't cost a lot of red scripts all right from 200 you have few options and I'm gonna go through them the first option is Centurio seal so you just come here to artifact gear disciples of war uh, to go to armor and then the belts pick any of the belts and decent that Another option is the icon leather belts. You just need the icon heights from here from Idleshire. You just go to the tombstone exchange and uh, other. You can buy them for with poetics. And the titanium alloy ingots you need Falrite from the diadem. Otherwise you can buy it from the market board as well. And you also need to be able to get wattle bark. Which is a legendary node in Abalathia, botanist in Heaven's Word. If you have access to these things, this one is re recommended, and it's it will get you to 220 really fast. And the last option is the expeditioner coats. If they happen to be cheap on your market board, then go for them. I would pay uh, up to 30k for them. Because they can also give two field craft demi materia threes, which is awesome. This is my recommended way to get to 220. And you can, the mats you get, you can use them to craft more expeditioners. Okay, once you reach 220, then you come here to Ralgar's Reach, field craft gear, and the Gagana skin field belt of gathering. That's what we're gonna descend. Obviously, meld one materia to it. That's gonna be 15%, and then Tinker's Calm and Bacon's Frost. But it's gonna be a lot of fails until we get the skill up a little bit, though, so be ready for that. Alternatively, you can over meld more materia to increase even more percentage. But I just decided to go with this with one meld at the start. And as you succeed, it will increase fast. Got to 265, 265 with the Gagana belt. Now moving on to Tiger Skin belt. When 285, now we're at the last step. We're gonna do Gazelle Skin belt all the way to 320. And you're gonna make a ton of profit by doing ga gazelle skin belt because you get gazelle leathers which is which you can use to make hq gear the 290 crafter and gatherer gear some of them need gazelle leather as well as 320 alamegan gear so that's the last step so yeah there you go that's it for this guide hope you found it useful be sure to like favorite subscribe and share if you did and if you want to support this content, you can do that on my Twitch or Patreon. Thank you guys for watching and girls, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.